has been breaking into the post office. That's the question in Alcalde, just north of Española, where the post office has once again been hit by criminals. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez reports. I saw it yesterday. I said that again, you know. Yes, again. Imagine the only post office in town. How often do you come get your mail? Oh, almost every day. Seems to always be the target of criminals, from vandalism to fires and now burglary. It had to have stolen something. A $10,000 reward is being offered to anyone who knows who broke into the Alcalde post office late last month, while residents have their hunches. I just thought they had to be either drug dealers or criminals like that because nobody else would do nothing like that. It appears investigators aren't close to solving the case. They didn't steal much. They didn't get any postal funds, stamp stock, anything like that, but they did break into two parcels. Post office officials say one of the parcels was found abandoned just down the road. The other is still missing. Wow, that's terrible. Oh, unfortunately, residents are getting used to hearing news like this. Post office officials say just before the burglary, someone took aim at the post office, riddling it with bullets. After the burglary, the vandalism continued. We've had, since the burglary, we've had several windows broken out. Now, some residents are worried. But then it is theft happened, you know, I want that didn't it have to happen to me. I don't know what to think anymore. Mr. Gutierrez, KRQE News 13. Investigators won't say what was inside the stolen parcels or why the suspects only took those two boxes. Mail theft is a federal crime. Each piece of mail stolen carries a five-year prison sentence.